by the end of 2017, I was at the point that I didn't want to watch the news anymore. I was starting to lose faith in humanity. That's how discouraged I was. So one night I decided to turn off the news and I watched It's a Wonderful Life instead because I like Clarence, the kind-hearted wingless angel and how all the people from Bedford Falls, they all come together and, and help George Bailey. So I managed to make it through the end of the year and in January, a friend of mine invited me to visit her for a week in Florida. So the day I was flying home, uh, I was sitting on a plane and I felt just like I did when I, when I was a kid and I was about to get car sick. It was not good. And I was sipping on a ginger ale and I had no clue who gave it to me. Because when I was standing in line, an arm came around me and a woman's voice said, honey, I noticed you looked like you didn't feel well. I bought you this ginger ale, I hope it helps. So I turned around to thank her and there wasn't anybody there and um, anybody near me said, I didn't give it to you, I didn't see anybody. So I had an angel because I was looking all through that airport and I couldn't find one anywhere. So I was sipping on my ginger ale from my angel and I managed to make it through the two hour flight to Baltimore. But when I got off that plane, I felt worse. And so I was waiting for my luggage and I was literally laying on a bench for an hour. And they finally said carousel one. So I go up and as soon as I got there, they changed it to carousel seven. So everybody sprinted down there and this is me, I'm slogging. And I finally got there and they changed it back to carousel one. Well, everybody sprints by me again. Not me, I'm crying. I'm five years old again and I'm car sick. And a man comes up and he goes, are you okay? I mean, can I help you? And I'm not making any sense. And he says, relax, take a deep breath because I'm going to stay with you the whole time. Well, this was another angel because he was on his way out. He had just had his carry-on luggage. So he kindly puts his arm into mine and he slowly takes me back to carousel one. And when we get there, everybody's gone and just one suitcase is going around, mine. And so he picks up my suitcase, takes it out, puts it on the shuttle that's going to take me to where my car was parked. Well, this bus driver takes one look at me, and he's frightened because I'm kind of like clammy and gray and green, and, and I'm carrying a plastic bag. And so he gets the air conditioning pumping, even though it's only 20 degrees out, and, and he hands me a couple bottles of cold water, anything to do to help me feel better because he doesn't want me getting sick on his bus. Now, the only seats on this bus that were facing forward were at the very back. The rest, you had to sit sideways, but the bus goes forward. Well, I can't sit on those if I'm not sick. So I head to the back, and there's a couple ladies on the bus with a couple kids, and the one lady stands up and yells out, drop her off first, please. And, and so I make it to the lot, and but my car was parked at the far right-hand corner of the slot. Seriously, can it be more difficult? So the bus goes slowly up and it turns slowly down. I can't take it anymore. This is it. This is where it's going to happen. I open my bag. It had a big hole in it. So I sprint to the front of the bus. I'm about an inch from the driver going, mm, mm. and he's like, turn around. And I turn around. There's four huge steps. And I get started. He's like, wait, wait. I've been waiting for hours. So I head down. I make it to the third step. This is it, I can't make it any further. The bus was still moving, the door was shut. So the driver knows I'm going to explode right now. I clapped my hands, I went like this, he slammed on the brakes, I jolt forward, he opens the door, and I'm starting to throw up, I arc it in the air, I shoot it out several feet, and I don't touch the bus at all. One of the kids yelled out, awesome! He thought what I just did was pretty cool. I felt perfectly fine now. I went to go pay for my parking and they said, just keep on going. Your, your whole week was paid for. I'm guessing it was the kind angel bus driver because he was so happy I didn't get a spot on his bus. Now, much of the news and social media, they like to tell us how different and divided we are and what separates us. But that day I had several kind-hearted wingless angels and they did whatever they could to take care of me. And I would have done exactly the same for them. So, in my humble opinion, 
I think we might be more alike than we, than we are different. And I still choose to believe that most people are kind and caring. Thank you.